Listen, that doesn't take away from what people saw in the fight. No one is saying that Triple G got robbed. What they're saying is that the score of a judge that, to be honest with you, been around for a long time, did a lot of my fights. I respect her, but maybe she seen something that we didn't see. And maybe she did and count things that we should know that was to be counted. But, but you know but, 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 you know but, boxing, but, but, you know but, boxing. But, but, that wasn't 108 but, but, to 110. But I know boxing. Something happened there. But we got to ask first the commission, what was asked by a reporter. Is anything going to be, you know, dealt, like anything going to happen or anything going to be, you know, done by this, right? We don't know. We hope. But I don't think that anyone, if you take the score and say that Triple G won, I don't believe that anyone would say that Triple G got robbed. If the score was even closer than what it should have been, and Canelo won. No one, I believe, I ain't gonna say no one, majority of people I believe would have lived with that decision based on the last 12 rounds when they were slugging it out. So the only controversy and the only dispute is that it was a score so apart from reality then that made the fight look the way it did. I'm saying there are two separate situations. Now as a promoter, I'm saying, look, did we deliver y'all? Yes, yes, but guess what, the score. Well, let's deal with the first one about delivery. Yeah, first of all, did y'all enjoy the fight? Yes. Was it what everything we told y'all? Yes, but only one thing. What? Triple G did knock Canelo out. Well, let me tell you one well, thing. Well, that's not thing. our fault. Let me tell you one thing. Let me tell you, Lennox Lewis on social media said, great fight. Both men leave the arena with their head held high, but no way was that a draw. Paulie Malinaji said WTF, and he's not talking about a federation. But if he didn't, if it wasn't a draw, who did Lennox Golovkin. Lewis say who won? Golovkin. So he think it was Golovkin that won, and Bird and people think that Canelo had won. Danny, Danny, can you have my phone for me, please? Because I have my phone off. And my guy Malik had my phone, and I ain't turn it on until we got in the office. That's my phone. I want to read them a text that happened, and, and you can see I never text out. And it said I had Canelo winning one, seven rounds to five. And I turned around and I showed him. I said, look, what did I tell y'all that I had? So here we go. This makes good, good conversations, and it makes you really happy to see about the second fight. And hopefully it happened. But I, I got to look at this because it's really, really. Uh, but, but why are you looking at that? You know, I'm looking at it because. But why are you looking at that? I'm saying it's a person at home. No, I'm looking at it because you're right. Lennox Lewis said to you what he said, and I'm going to tell you what another fan who paid this money to watch it don't agree with Lennox Lewis, right? Right now, now let, me, let, me, let, me, let, me, let me see it, let me see it. Yeah, right here. Right? What does that say? What's that say? It says, I had it 115, 113 Canelo, seven rounds to five. Okay, now, <clears throat> this was done for a reason. It's called opinions. It's called someone is on the West Coast, sitting at home, pay for the fight. Someone from the East Coast, well, I know who it is, text me, who's a well-established guy in boxing, had Canelo winning seven rounds to five. This make good debate for a second fight, possible, right? Now, well, what about that judge score? Well, are you are you telling me that judge score affect how you feel about who won or who lost the fight? No, 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 but that score should be, well, I can't fix that. Now, that's the commission job. Our job as the promoters is do the due process, as Oscar De La Hoya said, my partner. You submit, they submit judges to you and see if the promoter or fighter has any rebuttal on what's on that paper. And you have a choice to strike and make an argument why this woman or man shouldn't be one of the judges. Nobody had a complaint. 
Everybody, if you listen to Eric Gomez, everything is good. Let me ask, so, you, let so, me ask so, you one last question for me. Do you know boxing, Bernard? Yes. Was that 118, 110 Forget promotion. No, no. It was the seven rounds to five. Canelo. What, what goes Bernard, through, what goes through Canelo? And I didn't even graduate out of high school. <laughs> what goes but through? I knew the rounds was seven rounds to five. Canelo won seven out of 12 rounds. What, what goes through Gennady Golovkin's mind when he lands on Canelo's biggest bomb, Canelo smiles at him, shakes his head, and hits him right back? What goes, how frustrating could that be for a fighter? If a fighter is dominating as he's been dominating, you know, it's like a bully get challenged for the first time. And next thing you know, the rabbit got the gun now. See, when the rabbit leading up to Canelo turned out not to be a rabbit. And I said, really one of the best quotes y'all can get, I think, personally. I got a few more, but I'm a little tired. The Grand Reaper was going to be in rare form yesterday night. He was. He was. But Canelo did everything I said on ESPN, Sports Center, everywhere. He gonna do the Matrix. I told Stephen A. Smith, I said, listen, you're gonna see the Matrix. You're gonna see some spots where Canelo gonna hold his own. Then you're gonna see some spots where he become the, the sniper and not have a shootout. Now he had a few shootouts and I was a little nervous. But it made everybody stand up, correct me if I'm wrong, 10th round, 10th round. And the 12th, and the 5th. Let me tell you, Triple G don't have anything to be ashamed of and keep his belt. I don't know if that's kind of one of the title defenses to draw. I think it is, but they, if it is, it is good. But I can say one thing. When you look at two fighters, and you look at one that's 25, and you look at the other one that's 35, I can tell you clearly, forget the scorecard as far as this statement that I already made. Forget whether you feel you lost the one. I know who's declining, and I know who's getting better. I know who hit a wall, and I know who's going over the wall. Canelo, if they fight again, will make it look so easy, it will erase any doubt, except the scorecards, in anybody's mind. Oh, see, we don't know what the number was tonight, but no, we don't know what the number was. But David, what numbers? Yeah, we got what, what, what level of interest? Do you think there would be, they could do this again? Oh, huge. In May? Man. I'm changing my name to Bernardo. <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously, I'm putting, I ain't got to do too much changing. I'm going to just put a hole at the bottom of it. <laughs> what do you think of the body shots? Just swinging up to the top and the legs out of the Yo, the yo, listen. When I, if I'm blessed to go to camp because the fight might happen again, and it might not, Canelo, can you please go to the body for the first five rounds? Because we all seen the flinch. Even when Canelo didn't go to the body, Malik, that joke was like this. And you gotta continue to go to that body to kill a head. A guy like that gonna keep coming to you, mental strength, and take everything he can take from you. But you gotta go to the body. Most punchers don't like body shots. Marvin Hagler, John the Beast Magami. I can give you about a couple more. These guys that punch, live by the punch, die by the punch. And one thing Triple G didn't have, he didn't have a reverse. And he turned around, he was in Manhattan at 12 noon in New York City and he got it back up. Seven rounds to five to nothing. And what do you think made the uh, edge there for those rounds? What made you give him? Because it was close. Yeah. At certain points, yeah. it was even. Yeah, so I heard the question. Yeah. I'm ready to get an answer. Okay. <laughs> Go ahead. Give me an answer, my man. Well, first of all, somebody wasn't too good in math school. And the numbers didn't add up. But that doesn't take away from the performance. You got to ask Bird what she seen and didn't see for her to write.